Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Above here, above this evening I want to talk to you about a very special topic that was given to me to share with you. This is a very special soul food. It's a very special soul food. The today's topic is what is a soul and the characteristics of different souls. What is a soul? Mm. <laughs> like I always say, I don't uh, talk to everybody. And I don't also expect from myself to now make sense to everybody. No, 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 no. I am talking to special beings, ancient souls. Ancient souls with the ancient DNAs, the ancient royal bloodline running in their veins. These are the ones I'm talking to. So today's topic is, what is a soul? <laughs> it will be a very short soul food because uh, the way I want to do this topic, I will be splitting it into a different series. So this will be, what is a soul series one? Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Because of our uh, time factor and uh, because of how the message have to sink. The message need to take its time to sink because it's not really about bringing all the information out. No, it's about what you can digest. <laughs> it's about what you can digest for now at least. <laughs> so what is a soul? When we talk about soul, what is the first thing that come into your mind when somebody asks you what is about so what is a soul what is the first thing that comes into your mind a lot of <laughs> a lot of people always imagine these white lights they always imagine this ghost figure hmm. that's always the first thoughts People always imagine whenever they hear the word soul. Because I always say, uh, my teachings, our teachings in the African Spiritual Ancestral Ministry is soul food. So it's very important to also give the lecture about what is really the soul we're talking about. Yeah. For those who follow the soul series, you know already now that you are a soul, you are not a body, you are not even a spirit. The spirit is the photocopy of your soul, which is like an astral self that exists. That can fade away, that can increase, that can even demolish. Spirit is something important, powerful, but it's not really all about spirits. Your spirit is your blood. <laughs> yeah, that's why you have to eat good and keep your blood clean anyway. But what is a soul? Today I want to share with you this uh, divine teaching. A soul... <laughs> mm, but we'll see. A soul 
is the essence of the divineness of everything. I will say it again. A soul is the essence and the divineness, the divinity of everything. So whether you understand it to be God, whether you understand it to be cosmological energy, whether you understand it to be universal energy, however you understand it, a soul is the individual self of this energy. Okay, let me bring it into a, 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 a box of uh, a religion to use it to explain it to you. They teach you about God. They tell you about God. Okay, this is what a soul is. A soul is the different pieces that God has split itself into. I'm saying it again. A soul is the little, little, little pieces, fragments that this God, which they have always taught you about, that she split herself into. And we have different categories of souls. We have different types of souls. We have the collective souls. Yeah, I like to call it the collective souls. The collective souls are what we recognize like plants, trees, animals. These are collective souls. Why are they collective souls? It's because they are conscious. Like for example now, uh, like where I am now, apart from the water, which is life. These trees, these trees, this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree, they are one. They are one. They pass the same message to each other and follow up with the same vibration. That makes them a collective soul. Like, uh, like a group of souls together. Then animals is also a collective soul. But depends on the animal. Some animals have more higher vibration than the other. The majority of animals, let's say 98%, are also a collective soul. But let's focus on the, the creatures known, known as humans now. So those known as humans, you are an individual soul. What does that individual soul represent? It simply means that, it simply means that after she, when I say she, I mean this God, universe, cosmological energy, dark energy, wherever you understand it, after she have manifested, oh, 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 okay, let me help you and sink you deep inside there. <laughs> you see what you know as God let me be using language that will be very easy you see what you know as God good from that place where God came from and later now created the world that's exactly where the soul also came from they came out as a the same package together. So when that big bang happened, whether you believe it to be a big bang or not, when that big bang happened, or that manifestation happened, or that voice was spoken, or however you believe this world was created, regardless of however you believe, that's not my topic. What I want to what I want to enlighten you about is where that thing, that God, that power, that energy, however you believe it to be, where it came from is exactly where the soul itself also came from. So as she was manifesting itself, she now split herself into different fragments. She now split herself into different fragments. So you humans today, you are a collective, you are an individual soul. So, putting all of you together, putting nature, which people that call humans now know, call as nature, putting all these energies, everything together, all of them together is what is God. So, that is why God is not a being, a one super being. They are deities. Deities is different from what they are trying to tell you when they say God. Deities is a very different story. There are different deities, different entities and everything. But what I'm talking to you about today is the origin of everything itself and your soul 
also come from there. Wow, that's how powerful you are. So, automatically, your soul have traveled for millions and millions and millions of years. Different shapes and form, different identity and everything. Because for as long as the universe has been existing, that is since when your soul has been existing. So, you are here now on planet Earth. You, maybe you were on another planet before. Maybe you were deep inside the universe before. Or maybe you have always been here but not fully manifested into flesh however your journey has been but that energy you carry inside of you which is known now as your soul which is known now as your soul to make you get it well remember soul don't stay inside of you <laughs> that is also another thing you have to know spirit can stay inside of you yeah that's a different topic but your soul does not stay inside of you imagine your soul like this let me let me drive your imagination train Imagine your soul as a very giant mammoth. Yeah, many mammoths don't exist anymore, but let me use it to transport your imagination train. Imagine your soul as a very big mammoth, walking majestically. But every step she make, she poop. She poop, she, uh, she poop like shit on the ground, every step she make. So that shit, she shit on the ground now, it's not just a waste product, it starts growing like a tree. It starts growing like a tree. That's exactly how the soul is. So you are here now on earth, you have a multi-dimension. <laughs> not everybody, that's why I don't talk to everybody. Uh, there are a lot of you who see it time and time and time to to come to this maturity before you can grab this uh, hmm, this type of sacred knowledge so not really everybody but those i'm talking to are the ancient souls so every time this mammoth is pooping that poop right now something is growing out of it imagine it like a very beautiful flowers come out of it that's exactly how your soul is so you are here now as a body when you have no connection with your soul because she's independent and individual of her own self and by her own self she will just be doing everything she is doing even without having any knowledge or awareness of you which is the same she let me try and explain everything again. When you don't have knowledge of yourself, your life will be existing and moving on in the astral plane, in the higher dimension, without you connecting. Because many of us are multi-dimensional beings. Many of us are multi-dimensional beings. We are not one. So you are existing now on Earth, where you call planet Earth, or where you call America, or Africa, or wherever. Another type of you, given birth by your own soul, also can exist the same time in the same planet. That's one example. Then it can exist also in, a, in another dimension, maybe as a dragon. That's an example. Maybe as a dragon or a huge dinosaur roaming about somewhere. <laughs> oh God. Running about somewhere. So having that full understanding and knowledge of yourself help you align and connect to all this. Although it's not just something you grab, you get. No, it's a process. That's why we call it spirituality. Because spirituality is that constant exercise that keeps you growing and maturing. What is the, bi the biggest problem today we have? Apart from the damage religion have done to humanity, apart from that, because many, many religions, especially Christianity, I always use Christianity as an example because... I know how they torture my soul when I was growing up. So when I was able to break out, <laughs> break out from that uh, cage, I was like, oh. when I now see everything, they show me everything, I was like, oh, really? Hey, Akmamosa, oh. <laughs> so it's crazy when you are telling people who are still there now, they cannot just get it so easily. But no problem, we understand, we understand, we understand. So what I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that, Religion use fear to trap you. 
because that fear is was special because one time I was thinking the people who created religion they were powerful with swords and huge army and everything why do they need there to lie and put fear of hell fire and heaven so is it that you go here or you go there no other option why do they have to also create this Later it was shown to me in Revelation that they needed to create this fear to help people also bring out the best of them. Because when people have no knowledge of uh, you will die or burn in a fire, they will, not, they will not be interested outside the control system. So that was why they also create fear. But the fear now has destroyed many because they don't have good intentions for nobody. So talking about so, as you are living in this dimension now as a man or a woman, whatever the gender you believe you are, as you are living now in this dimension, your soul is busy also existing on its own on its or her own individual self. Because why? Your mission, mm, your mission is not to just be here alone and be aware of your own self, which is also one of the reasons the soul uh, shits you here because you are like a poop here, poop, and it keep moving, poop, it keep moving. Yeah, the soul is like that. When I say the soul, I mean your super self, <laughs> your super self, your godly self, which is not here with you. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it don't come, sometimes you can align with it. People always get it wrong. Your spirit is not your soul. So you can be doing things with your spirit and things like that. It doesn't mean that now uh, you are aligned with your own soul. Your own soul is a very different thing. That's why African spirituality, we are very special uh, things we do like that to, to, to uh, rituals and things like that, to, live, to pray to your head, to your re and everything. When they are saying all those things, they mean your higher self. Your higher self does not live here. Your higher self is experiencing and aware of this place through you as a lens which she used to view the picture of this place. And the picture of this place is so important to her because it is like, it is like, let me help you get it now. It is like you are sitting inside a car and you are driving. So the car does not have an air condition. So you decide to roll down the window and just bring your hand out so you can get some fresh hair on your armpit. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. So, you, so you're viewing yourself here. Nurturing yourself is helping your higher self to grow higher. Because you know what is the challenge of your higher self? The biggest challenge of your higher self, which you're known as your soul, is to unite back to that source before everything was split into different fragments. So automatically, God wants to bring back himself into what it is before everything was boom. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it better to you. I don't have the language. Uh, all this... All this language are so limiting you can't use human language to fully <laughs> express yourself so well but that is exactly the mission your self is busy connecting so that's why you as you are experiencing this life here now you have a duty your duty is to work together with her but when you are not working together with her you know what happened she will leave you because she's independent She's individual of her own self. She's not a collective soul that cannot exist without one or one without another. No, 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 no. She's an individual self. That's why you can be born into some family. Uh, because what I'm talking about now is even more than soul tribe and uh, soul family and all these things. This is boom. <laughs> I'm taking you to level five now. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, but uh, for somebody, you still have to first start from, yeah, from the grassroots so it doesn't look so confusing to you. But this was the message that was given to me, so that's why I'm just sharing. <laughs> this is why I'm just sharing it. So, helping really that your higher self, it is all of our task. Yes, it doesn't mean Ogunami has complete it. 
If I have completed it, I will not be here talking to you. Then I will go because I have nothing doing here. That's, that's a fact. So it is a, a, it is a process that keep on going. That is why you will not see any man on earth that will tell you, I got it, I have it, I take it, I am everything and I know it all from A to Z. No. Those are hypocrites talks like that. Only hypocrites can talk to you like that. Yes. So please, it's very important that you have the full awareness that so is the divine self of everything in existence. So you can also add the meaning of soul like this, like, like soul is a pieces of God himself. I will repeat it again. Your soul, so the word soul, Although that's English word, eh he, eh do we eh he, but different languages also have different beautiful names they call they, they call it. So is the fragments of the divine energy itself. So now we are giving grace to help us learn how to build that oneness within ourselves. What is the grace? For you being born. For you being born already is a grace for you. That's why you are not yet for mistake. You must set programs to keep you busy and all these things to so just keep your mind busy and occupy, blah, blah, blah. Because they are trapping their ego, so they want to trap you in their ego. Some of them know that they don't have too much time to on earth because they are not original humans, some we are cloning. Blah, 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 blah. But they just create a system to make you a slave forever so that you will just be lost. That's how they stay alive. Because they are parasites. Yeah, I call them parasites. <laughs> I call them parasites. But yeah, that's not important. I don't want to take my energy there. So what I'm trying to let you know is it was a divine grace that makes you manifest first into this picture. The word grace has been misunderstood by many people the word grace that is a grace for you to able to breathe in all seasons <laughs> that is already a grace so the word grace is have a very deeper meaning because it was grace itself that permits your soul to be able to manifest in different form and different shape. So the thing now is this. Hmm. This is like a question to all the philosophers, all the gurus, all the spiritual uh, kings and queens or priestess or uh, everybody. This is like a question. It, it, for those of you who know, not all of you also know it. So for, for those of you who know, the question now for you all is, is the soul busy creating karma or, or cleaning the karma she has created? What is really the agenda of the soul? What is really the agenda of the soul? You can take this as your own personal research also. What is really the agenda of the soul? Is she creating karmas? Because you are living now millions of life years, thousands of life years, hundreds and millions of life years. So in different shape, in different form, in different family, in different reality, in different dimensions and everything. So is it now that you are you you are creating your your mission is to create different karmas everywhere or you are you are living this different dimension and everything again and again only to be uncleaning like deleting karma because if we are deleting karma then automatically it means we are rewinding the so the, the fragment back to its natural source 
which scientists call that little light director me palm which really just call out of darkness out of nowhere the voice came out god came out and said oh wherever whatever they say it is and um, wherever you believe it come from but the question is is so bringing it back to that god itself or is it creating a new karma because uh there is one there is one beautiful italian word actually it's not beautiful <laughs> it's a parolasha they call it parolasha like a like a snacks like a dirty snacks but inside that depth i was able to pick something very beautiful that's why i call it a beautiful word they always use it uh, some of uh, those non tenants always use it uh, they always they always say it like this let me try and remember it ah yeah they always say it like this they say La vita è una madre di una troia che si chiama la cama. La vita è una madre di una troia che si chiama la cama. Which means life is a mother of a, a, a biash <laughs> known as Carmel. It sounds arrogant and uh, dirty, but if you take away that concept of judgment and just look at what they are trying to say, you can start seeing a lot of sense there. Because why? Why is it very important? Imagine now, just imagine this. Imagine now you meet someone because you are greedy. I too, when I was growing up, I never grew up like this, like perfect. No, 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 no. I grew up normal from the streets. I, I did things, I lie, I offend people, I give people pains, I also give people love and everything. I did everything, normal thing, normal human being do. <laughs> when I say normal human being, I mean with your lower self. But with the more you keep growing and keep having knowledge, then you keep seeing, wow, how shyly you wear. That's where self-knowledge comes and gives you spiritual maturity. Because maturity is not about age. People always get it wrong. Uh, people think uh, I need an advice, so I have to go and meet somebody eight years. Yes, it's good with, because experience, you have seen many, 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 many times and everything. It's very good, but uh, divine knowledge has nothing to do with your age. You can be 80 years, you can be 70 years and still lack complete knowledge of yourself. And you can just be 20 years, 15 years, 30 years, and 40 years, or even 10 years old. 10 years old, like my boy. If my boy Jeremy says some things, I will say, please say it again. Then when he said it again, I will ask, where is that thought coming from? Sometimes he can explain it, sometimes he cannot explain it. But little did he just know that he just teach me something very important. That is how knowledge works. All shapes and form. That's how it comes. So what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is that in, in this life we have, meeting somebody, interacting with people, at the end, in one way or the other, you create karma. Either a good karma or a negative karma. I don't always like judging it because the concept of judgment trigger that emotion to to create that energy which you put there. That's why judgment is very, very, very not good. It's good to be aware of something and just be present with it without the art of judgment. Then you don't give the energy to it. Exactly. Then you don't give the energy to it. So you meet somebody, you create a karma. After everything, let's say you don't know how to cut the cord and cleanse yourself and clean away that karma energy and everything so you keep meeting new people everybody you make you make karma you make karma then from there it start becoming toxic energy they start getting stuck 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 it get to a point that there becomes like a cancer like a spiritual cancer inside of you so now they become spiritual cancer now your soul have inflammation where she is because why you are here experiencing everything she is experiencing life through you so everything you
you feed in, you take in, you download in, you 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 make your 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 conscious mind believe on. So because your conscious mind is an illusionist, your conscious mind now will start playing the magic for you. We start showing you the picture. We start detaching you from really who you are because what you are believing is what you are seeing. So all this now will be breaking the bridge. Will be breaking the bridge between you and your soul. So you will think you are conscious with your conscious mind you believe everything your conscious mind is telling you without knowing that your conscious mind is nothing but a program processor so it's what you download that your conscious mind process it can't generate nothing of its own that's why all these government they are very smart from the beginning they set an educational system you must go to kindergarten you must do this you must do this you must have this degree you must, so that as you are born because your father has been programmed your father will start automatically installing the program on you because why to have a good successful life you must have this degree you must have this profession you must have this so good 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 you achieve all this but you get to a point in your life you are still lost why because the vision the goal of your divine self is different from the obligations you have put your earthly self on your earthly self on now is not trapped in the ego which is the lower self of your own self and your divine self is too busy with heavenly things <laughs> it's too busy with heavenly things so that's why sometimes it seems like you are praying the prayers is not being answered because many of your prayers is not what you need at all. It's not what you need at all. So uh, it's something very complicated to understand. Uh, that's also why I don't talk to everybody anyway. Old souls we understand things that I'm talking about. So like I said, it will be a very short uh, series one. It will be a very short one. I want to make it short so... I can split it into different series. Remember that soul is the fragment of God. And your mission here on earth is to connect to that your godly nature that you have to help God, which you claim you love, become one with his or our own self again. <laughs> that just all. Uh, yeah, that's all. I have to do my prayers and do other things now. Okay, I wish you a nice evening. Bye-bye. I sent you love and hugs. We'll see you again in the series too. Bye-bye.